Hey team, happy Wednesday. I'm Coach Melissa, welcome to F45. We've got Bears today. Bears is 18 stations. You're gonna do one lap through the 18 stations. However, you're gonna do two sets and the timing's going to change. On the first set, the timing is 35 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So that's short recovery. You're gonna go right back into it and work for 55 seconds. And then you'll have 20 seconds to rest and then prepare for the next exercise. So uh, a lot of cardio today. You'll need some equipment if you don't have at home. We have sledgehammer, dead ball in the studio, but you can use, again, I grab the laundry detergent for everything. Some of this stuff you can do with or without equipment. So we've got you covered for all that today. Um, again, with 18 stations, we're going to, let me introduce our coaches first. Look at him, aren't that cool? We got Mackenzie and James in the studio this morning. So one of, uh, James will be doing the uh, equipment that we use in the studio and Mackenzie will be grabbing just whatever things that you might use at home. So our first exercise is the agility ladder sledgehammer in and out. So you're going to take an item in your hand or nothing and you're gonna pop the item up to the ceiling. Your legs are wide and that's when you pop the item up to the sky. So jumping jacks basically where you push up to the sky. All right, your second exercise, you're gonna walk your hands in and walk your hands out. So an inchworm, except you're not coming all the way back up to standing. I want you to stay with those hands right in front of your feet and then walk them back out, good job. All right, next exercise is high knees right there on the spot, but I want you to go four on the left and then do four on the right. So we're going four high knees on one side, four high knees on the other side. Then you're gonna grab a dead ball or any kind of ball if you have it or any kind of little weighted item. You're gonna do around the world into a burpee combo. So I want you to take that ball around your head one direction two times and then reverse direction two times. Put it on the ground, do a burpee over it, stand up and do it again. All right, you've got three ice skaters and one burpee. We like burpees on Bears Days. So three ice skaters where you push away laterally three times and then come down for that burpee. All right, a squat jump with 180 degree rotation. That means you're gonna face the wall one way, you're gonna turn halfway and face the wall, right landing right down into that squat. Option, lose the hop and just pivot. All right. We're gonna use the suspension trainer or not, but we're going to do a squat and pull your alternating knee. Excuse Kenzie's little desk right there. All right, so James, show us. You're gonna squat, and when you come up, you're gonna pull one knee. Squat, pull the other knee. You can do this from the ground without the suspension trainers. Now we've got star jumps, just jumping jacks. Show them, Kenz. Jumping jacks right there. Beautiful. Now you need some kind of box or a little bench or maybe the stairs at home. You're gonna do toe taps. I want everyone to be very careful. If Nikki Webb, our member, is doing this today, be safe. You can do something on a lower bench. There you go. Yep, lots of options there. All right, now we're gonna use a bench to hop over three times. Hop over it. Once you get over it three times, I want you to come down and drop for a burpee. You can put your hands on the edge of the couch. You can put your hands on a cooler, piano bench, whatever. Now we've got dumbbell punches into a push-up. So you're gonna do a, a Four punches right there in a squat. Now I want you to come down into a plank, do a push up, power up, stay low in the squat, punch four times, nice. Now we've got the balance trainer burpee with a shoulder press. You can do this with or without the balance trainer, but you do the burpee, come up, press whatever you're holding up into the sky, good job. If you're not using a balance trainer, then you just shut, set your weighted item off to the side. Again, you can do that without a balance trainer. Just come down and do a burpee. All right, now we've got the step trainer, fast feet, 180 combo. So he's gonna go 10 times where he does the toe taps, then he's gonna come across the bench 10 times, other direction, 10 toe taps. He's gonna come back across. There's one, two, three, four, five, 10 times. All right, now we've got 10 high knees and 10 heel taps. So pull your knees 10 times. And then you're gonna reach for your heels 10 times. Let's see that. Now they're giving it that hop, but you could also just stand and pull. Yes, good. Crab kicks. This is when I think y'all are gonna look like the Rockettes. So put your hands under your shoulders and kick the, wait, hold on James, keep doing that. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Look at him. We're taking you to Radio City Music Hall. Woo, that is beautiful. All right. 
So guys, we're gonna use that ladder again. This time we're gonna go completely outside the ladder and just hop over. So again, if you don't have a ladder, it's okay. Look at Kinsey. She's just doing wider hops and using momentum to propel her body forward. That's good. So keeping those feet together. All right, so now we've got seal jacks for our next exercise. So you're trying to keep your hands in line with your shoulder as you pop your feet wide, your arms open up. Your feet come together and you clap those hands or just bring your hands together. We have prisoner squats for our next exercise. So keeping those elbows wide and dropping it right into that squat. So keeping the chest up. I wanna be able to see your face the whole time as you come down, yeah. That's a good face. Guys, this is your last exercise today. That was 18 exercises. It's a lot, but that's all right. It's gonna make it for an interesting time. So we are starting with the agility ladder, but first we're gonna warm up. Just make sure you have that around. We're going to do high knees and punch it out. We're in it, we're doing it. High knees and punch it. Oh, I hear James breathe in. He's ready, he's ready. In three seconds, we're going for jumping jacks. Two and one, jumping jacks right here. Let's go. If Jared was here, I would have called him star jumps because he's our coach that's from Australia and that's what they call them in Australia. All right, let's go for that shuffle and abduction. So shuffle those feet and then pull your knee up, open it out, we're opening up those hips. Good. Shuffle, 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 other side. You're coming down for mountain climbers in three, two, and one. Hands under your shoulders, you're in plank position, and you are driving those knees alternating. Staying in the mountain climber. Whoop, whoop. You got three seconds, we're gonna roll it onto our back. Right now, on your back, knees are bent, drop those knees side to side and stretch through your back. And hip thrusters right here. So plant your heels on the ground and then drive those hips up to the sky and down. Squeeze a little at the top, good. Keep doing this in five seconds. We're gonna come up and grab those toes in three, two, and one. Grab your toes and I want you to extend your legs when you do your stretch in those hamstrings. Now bend, pop those knees wide and stretch through those inner thighs. Good job guys, come on, bend, extend. Three seconds, we're coming up for jump, twist, and go. Arms go one way, feet go the other. You hop and switch direction. Where's John Miller? He can't do it. They can, so can you at home. All right, we're going for high knees right there on the spot right now. Let's go. Pull those knees up to your belly button. Hello, hello. Five seconds, we're coming down to finish with burpees, let's go. Burpees are our best friend. That's what you say to yourself as you do these. Why are we so hateful about burpees, guys? Burpees is a nice all over body movement. There you go. All right, get that ladder. We're gonna do the agility ladder in and out. You've got the sledgehammer or a weighted item that as your legs come wide, you pop the item up, your feet come together, and that weight comes to your chest. You have three, two, and one. Let's go. Pop it up. There we go. So notice how Kenzie is doing this with an item that you could use at home. She has grabbed that laundry detergent. It's basically jumping jacks, but you're also getting that momentum, propelling your body forward slightly. There's James. He's got the ladder to kind of mark his distance. But again, they're doing the same exercise with different equipment. You have five seconds, team. Two and one. Rest right here, 10 seconds. We're gonna do it again. Remember, we're gonna go longer this time. 55 seconds of work. So you might wanna pace yourself a little differently. Bring down the intensity. Here we go. Three, two, and one. When I say bring down the intensity, you should not be just going through the motions. You should not be working at a five out of 10 effort. It should still be about a seven to eight out of 10 effort. Concentrating more on endurance and being able to work the entire interval. Y'all look good, come on. Hey. 
Steady, James, steady. There we go. Ooh, I like that, that looks good. Hey guys, we're going different directions. That's cool, you have less than 15 seconds, team. Keep moving. I want you to really pay special attention to Kenzie because her footwork is really good. Her feet come wide. You have three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna do the hands, walk it in and hands, walk it out. You don't need any equipment for this. Just get your body in place where you have room to extend your body on the ground. Less than 10 seconds. Deep breaths. Kenzie's ready. Let's go, 35 seconds right here. So you walk it out and then you walk it back, but we're not gonna stand up. Remember that those hands just stay right in front of those feet. Yes, and then keep going. Good job, guys. There you go. Nice pace. James is moving at a quicker pace, which I like, on this shorter interval. You got it, good, good, good. You've got three, two, and one. Only 10 seconds to recover. And we're gonna go longer. 55 seconds of work, you have four seconds. You have three, two, and one. So Kenzie's just gonna walk it right back. She started in a plank. Hands come right in front of those feet and then you go, oh, I'm going back out. So Kenzie's really getting a nice reach there. Options here, take your hands just right under your shoulders. Stop at a plank, whatever is comfortable for you. You wanna protect that low back, so really concentrating on keeping your glutes tight. Not letting those hips sag when you get to that plank position. Nice job. You have 20 more seconds here, keep going. Come on team, 10 more seconds, you got it, you got it. Just back and forth. Mind over matter here, you tell your body to keep moving. You've got three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna do high knees, four on the right, and then do four high knees on the left. So staying where you are, you don't need anything but your body for this next exercise. You have 10 more seconds to recover. How we doing? Let's go. 35 seconds just began. There we are. Nice. Pull those knees up. Four on one side and four on the other side. There you go. Come on team, killing it. You have 15 seconds to go. Make sure you're breathing. Kenzie's is making this look like a dance move. I love it. You have less than five seconds. Three, two, and one. Rest, 10 seconds only, so don't go anywhere. Stay where you are. Gear up for your next interval. Same move, 55 seconds of work. Three, two, let's go. Four on the right. Four on the left. There you go. Now James is switching to his right leg. And now he's switching to his left leg. He puts a little cup extra steps in there. Kenzie really pulling that knee up high. Yes. 30 seconds to go here, team. Try to get your thigh at least parallel to the ground as you pull your knee. And now as you're working, try to get your knee closer to your belly button. Come on. Pull. You got it, 10 more seconds. You're using those arms to help drive those knees. You've got five seconds, don't stop. You've got three, two, and one. All right, grab a dead ball. You're gonna take it two times around your head. One direction, two times around your head the other direction and then you're gonna drop for a burpee. If you do not have anything to take around your head, you could use that laundry detergent, you could. You have three seconds before we begin. Two and one, let's go. So now just notice how James is taking that right in front of his face. Kenzie is too, her laundry detergent. Now she's gonna set it on the ground, she's gonna do the burpee, and then she's gonna grab it and take it back up tall with her. So getting that nice range of motion. 
taking it around your head, two times one way. Reverse direction, two times the other way. James has to be careful not to hit his hat. The bill of his hat. Come on team, you got it, six seconds here. You've got three, two, and one. Rest here, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna go longer this time. If you don't have anything to hold, just do the movement with your arms and go. Here we go. Come on. Stand and take that dead ball or object around the world. Your head is the world in this instance, team. Two times one direction, er, stop, reverse direction. Two times the other direction, er, drop it. Burpee over it, grab it, take it back with you. The hop at the top, that's optional, but I like it. You know I like the celebration at the end of a burpee. Come on, friends. Go 10 more seconds here and you're done with this exercise. Let's go five more. And three, two, and one. All right, we've got three ice skaters and one burpee. Do we love burpees, team? Do we love burpees? Mackenzie yeah. loves burpees, James. <laughs> he loves them. You have five seconds. Three ice skaters, one burpee. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Push, 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 and then drop for that burpee. Come back up and get right back into those ice skaters. So that lateral movement, I love it. That side to side movement, trying to get as much distance as you can there as you push away with one foot and land on the other. Stepping and tapping is a good option for this as well. Keep going, friends. You have 10 more seconds here in this interval. Make every second count, cause boy they do. You've got three, two, and one. Rest for 10 seconds. So you control your breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Three, two, let's go. Do it again. Kinsey's coming up out of that burpee and going right back into those ice skaters. James started with those ice skaters. Already been down for his burpee and back up. Nice. Nice hops right there. Come on team, move like you mean it. Oh, we are aware of our social distancing. We are mindful of keeping our distance. 20 seconds to go. There you go, you look good guys, you look good. Good, I hear the breathing. I wanna hear your breathing at home too. You have less than five seconds and you have three, two, and one. All right, you're gonna do the squat jumps with 180 degree rotation. So you'll squat and you'll turn a half a, tur half a turn, landing in the squat. You can squat and pivot if the hop is too tough. We're gonna start in three seconds, two and one. Squat, 180 degree turn. Land in the squat, team. Don't put all that pressure on those joints and land stiff-legged. We land and absorb that energy gently, boom. There you go, Kenzie, that was beautiful. Oh, hello. That's gorgeous. Look at you. Yes, James, I see those hamstrings and those quads. Come on, you got three seconds. Two and one, that was a good comeback. 10 seconds, guys. Those are not easy, those are very difficult. So again, make it work for you, don't stop. Pivot, two and one, let's go. 55 seconds here. So when I say pivot, Kenzie, will you show them a pivot, a squat and a pivot instead of a squat jump? So there's this. Squat and then just pivot, half a turn. And squat and pivot, yeah. So she's not getting the jump, but she's getting that directional movement, which is good. We wanna force our body to work and move in different directions. We got a, per a plan for everything here, a reason for why we do what we do, guys. 
set, maybe that crab kick we're gonna do later. I'm just kidding. Come on, 15 seconds here. Keep going, guys. Land in the squat, land in the squat. Yeah, come on. And keep it coming down. You have five seconds. Absorb that energy gently. Three, two, and one. All right, well done. You need those suspension trainers? If you don't have them, you're gonna use nothing, but we're gonna squat and alternate, pull our knee. The team is coming, the team is coming. All right, be ready. You've got three, two, and one. There we go. So notice, Kenzie's just coming down in the squat, which is hard after the 180 degree squats that you all just did. You could also, Grab a, the, the door frame at your house. Hold on to the door frame and do this. Or there's Kenzie. She's gonna use, she's gonna use the box. She's gonna squat and she's gonna use that to put her hands on to come. That's good, Kenz. Look at James back there. We see you. You have three seconds, guys. Two and one. Rest right here. We're gonna go to do it again and go longer. Yep, you can grab the pole. You're gonna do it? Let's go, your time just started. So now James is doing it without the straps and Kenzie is holding on to a pole. So you might have a column at your house or maybe you do have a pole. I don't know. That's cool, door frame, yes. Or a pole. <laughs> or a pole. <laughs> Use whatever you got to make it work, to come down in that squat. Look, I love how they're keeping that chest up, dropping that booty, that weight back in those heels. And then power up, pulling one leg up as you go. Pull that knee up. Yep, 20 seconds to go. Come on team, keep going. Steady pace. You have 10 seconds, endure this. You can take this challenge, yes you can. You have less than five and you have three, two and one. Yes, we're gonna do jumping jacks, jumping jacks. So spreading out, finding that space. Whoa, team, sorry for that. I got a little crazy back here. Less than 10 seconds. And jumping jacks in three, two, and one. Come on. There you go. Now, if you were someone who can't handle the jumping jack because it's just too hard on you, or maybe it makes you pee on yourself a little bit. You could just keep your arms going in that same movement, but just step one foot out and then the other, alternate kicking your foot out. That'll bring down the impact, if impact is the problem, and it'll keep you from peeing on yourself. You have three, two, and one. All right, 10 seconds to rest. Sorry if that's TMI, but I'm just letting you know it happens. And let's go, 55 seconds this time of beautiful jumping jacks. So I love this move. This is a move that everyone in your house should be doing with you right now. Everybody off the couch, out of the bed and doing jumping jacks. Everyone can do this. That's a fun family activity right here. Miss Clifford said so. That's Coach Kinsey. That's her teacher name. Come on team, yes, that breathing, so important. Every time you open those arms wide and hop those feet out, exhale, 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 good. 15 more seconds to go here, come on. Kinsey making it a little bit fun and spinning around. You got five more seconds here and you've got three, two, and one. All right, we've got little box toe taps, so. You're going to use a bench or um, anything, any like a stair, a step. You know, the stairs at your house, you could use the lower stair. You could use nothing and just pop your foot forward at your toes. You've got three, two, and one. All right, so we want you to stay balanced here. I don't want anybody to fall back and land on their arm and break their wrist. Ooh, Kenzie going around the world with that box. That's cool. 
Come on, keep it going. I love the pace she's using there. That's nice. Look at James back there. Steady, steady. The movement of his arms, using it. Come on, you got five seconds. You got three, two, and one. Nice job, rest. Shake those legs out, move it around a little bit, catch your breath. You're gonna do this again and you're gonna do it longer. So if you need to bring the pace down slightly, that's an option. And let's go, we're working. So notice what Kenzie's doing right there. She wasn't actually even hitting the box, so that's a really good option too. If you have nothing at home, which everybody does have something, they could be tapping, but you could just tap air. Yeah, mark a spot on the wall. And then use the magic eraser to wipe it off. Let's go. No excuses, team, no excuses. You got everything it takes to make this workout happen. 15 seconds to go. You're physically tough enough to keep going. You're mentally tough enough to keep going. Positive talk right here. What are you saying in your head right now? I can, yes I can. You've got it, you've got three, go, two, and one. That was beautiful. All right, so we're gonna do the um, bench hops, three hops over a bench, and then a burpee on the side, and then get up and do three more hops. So that's where I would say, if you have a cooler, you can put your hands on a cooler. If you have an ottoman or whatever, hop over something. You've got three, two, and one. Here we go. One, two, three, drop it for a burpee. James, what are you doing? Three, one, two, three, drop it for a burpee. Hello. There we go. He's gonna move that box, that bench. There we go. Come on team, less than 10 seconds. Fight through it. Trying to kick that booty. Three, two, and one, rest. 10 seconds, we're gonna do it again for 55 seconds. So if we can't do that full hop over whatever object you're using, step and tap, let's go. 55 seconds has begun. So you can step and tap, step and tap. If you need to bring that intensity down on the hop over. If you wanna keep your hands on the bench for the burpee, that's an option too, to bring down the intensity so you don't have to come all the way down to the ground. You're hopping those feet out. When you come down for the burpee, whether those hands are on the bench, on the ground, on the arm of your chair. You're doing a push up, and then you're powering back up to standing. Hop, there you go, good. Less than 10 seconds, guys, come on. There we go, and you've got three, two, and one. We have the dumbbell punches into push ups. So maybe you're using bottles of water for your dumbbells. Maybe you're using cans of soup. Maybe you're using dumbbells. You're gonna do the punches, four punches, and then down for a push up. You have three seconds. Here we go. Two and one. All right, let's go. Kenzie's just gonna punch it out with nothing in her hand. Four punches, down, do the push up, power back up, stay low. Yeah, so it's almost like you're doing a sprawl as you come forward. Replace those hands with those feet. Yep. You're staying low and punching four times. Back for that push up. Power forward. Punch, punch, punch. Good. You have less than 10 seconds. Come on. You got it. Three, two, and one. Good job. All right, we're going to go again. We're going to go longer. So find a way to endure it. Find that rhythm, that pace. Three, two, and one. Come on, team. James exchanged his dumbbells. Kenzie dropping, doing that push-up from the knees. Awesome option, guys. Come on, friends. Power forward, stay low, chest up, punch, 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 punch. Back down for that push-up, jump back to plank, do the push-up, power back forward, stay low. Punch, 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 good. Kenzie's adding some extra punches there. Cool. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She did eight. Coming down for that push up. Power back up. Come on. Keep your body moving. You have less than 10 seconds. How much more can you do here? You have three, two, and one. Nicely done. All right, grab your balance trainer if you have one to use. This is where we do the burpee and the shoulder press. If you don't have a balance trainer, grab something weighted that you can press at the end of the burpee. Just set it to the side. You have five seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's go. James is coming down for that burpee over the balance trainer. He's coming back up and pressing that to the sky. Good. Ken's just used the laundry detergent. It's a celebration. Following that burpee, we say, woo! Yes. Good job. 20 more seconds. Come on. You take those arms overhead. If overhead movement is an issue for you, you keep that weighted item at your chest. Come on, five seconds left here. And you've got three, two, and one. That was good. We're gonna do it again for 55 seconds and we're gonna be done with it. You ready, team? You got three, two, and one. Come on. 55 seconds of work right here. Good. Ooh, Kenzie's added another bottle of laundry detergent to press at the top. She sets them out to the side. She does the burpee in between them. She's coming up, she's grabbing them as she comes, creating that resistance as she's coming to her feet. James using the balance trainer to create that. 30 seconds to go, guys, come on. You got it, less than 20 to go. Here we go, 10 final seconds, how we doing? What can you get done here? Yes, James just picked up that pace to finish. Kinsey, I see you, you've got three, two, and one. Nice, you're done with that. All right, we're gonna grab a step because this is where we're gonna do those uh, fast feet combo. So 10 taps with your toes. Then I want you to cross over it 10 times. 10 taps with your toes and cross over it 10 times. All right, you have five seconds. Three, two, let's go. 35 seconds here. Kenzie's starting with the crossover. James is starting with the toe taps. 10 and 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good, give me those toe taps from another angle. So going around the world. Guys, if you don't have a bench, you can do that side to side movement on the ground. You can do those toe taps on the ground. You have five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. One set down, one to go. Five seconds of recovery. We're gonna go in three, two, let's go. Come on. Tap, tap, tap. Count it out. 10 times every tap. Every time you cross over, that's one rep. Do 10 of them. We are glistening with sweat in this studio. Are you glistening with sweat at home? I hope so. Come on, 30 seconds left. Keep breathing, keep breathing. You have less than 10 seconds to go. Come on. You keep your body moving. You finish this interval in three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, you can push that step trainer, whatever you're using out of the way. You're gonna do 10 high knees and 10 heel taps. You can use more power maybe for this first interval. And then if you need to back the power down on the longer second interval, that's an option. You've got three, two, and one. 10 high knees. And then 10 heel taps, good. So notice they're doing these differently and that's awesome. James is keeping that powerful movement as he hop, hop, hop and pulls those heels. And Kenzie step tap, 
Step tap, good, good. Give less than 15 seconds here, guys, come on. Kenzie, I love how high you're pulling your knees up there, yes. You have less than five seconds. Keep up that intensity, yes, James, and rest, good. One more interval with these exercises. Three, two, let's go. Come on, 10 high knees. And 10 heel taps. Good. So notice that Kenzie is not bending over to reach her heels. She's pulling her heel up to tap it. Notice that she's using those hands, those forearms parallel to the ground, and she's pulling her knees up to reach them on the knee raises. Yes, good. We have 20 seconds here, guys. Come on, don't back down. Do not stop. James, you got it. If you feel like it's a struggle, you celebrate that because you know that it's tough and it's a challenge and you're conquering that challenge and you don't back down. Less than five seconds, yes. You find a way to make it work in three, two, and one. Well done. We're done with that. We're gonna do crab kicks. Crab kicks. Such a cute move. So this is where you're going to be uh, chest up, your hands under your shoulders, and you're gonna powerfully kick those legs. You've got three, two, and one. Let's go. The Rockets right here, starring Kenzie Clifford and James Harding. Look at him go, keep kicking. We don't know why the music cuts out sometimes, but it does. We just keep moving, doesn't affect our workout here. Keep it up, keep it up. Come on, kick, ooh. Yes, look at the power with which you're moving. Hands are directly under the shoulders. You got it. You have five seconds, come on. You have three, two, and one. Guys, that's a good time. Rest here, you're gonna do it again for 55 seconds. And you have three, two, and one. James, I dare you to keep up that pace the whole time. Keep up that pace the whole interval, that's impressive. I mean, that is impressive. Kenzie, your arms look amazing. Supporting your body, so she's kicking, kicking. James is going with a little more of a rapid move. It is cracking me up. Yes, come on, don't back down. You have 20 seconds here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you are motivating the team at home with this effort. Kenzie has not stopped and now she's picking up the pace with less than 10 seconds to go. Yes, kick it, kick it, kick it. Woo, you've got three. Two and one. Oh my God, that was amazing. I wanted to join them. I'm gonna do these after. All right, we're gonna use that ladder again, but this is where we hop two feet all the way outside the ladder on alternating sides and finding that momentum to kind of power us forward. If you don't have a ladder, Kenzie's gonna show you how that works. Three, two, let's go. Hop, hop, hop. So keeping those feet together, notice he's using the ladder, James to hop outside those squares. Kenzie's just doing wider hops, imagining that there's a ladder there and propelling herself forward down her imaginary ladder. This quarantine has caused us to use our imaginations for things. That's cool. You got five seconds. You have three, two, and one. Good job. One more set here, 55 seconds. There's not a lot of talking from our team in the studio. They can't talk, let's go. 55 seconds just started. That's what we're looking for, guys. When you're working at the intensity you need to be, when you are uncomfortable out of your comfort zone, you should be breathless. You should not be able to say a lot of words. On a cardio day, uh-uh. You're saving that breath for the work. Here we go, come on. Less than 30 seconds. Come on. And if 
the hopping is too much, you can step and tap, but step to the right wide, and then step to the left wide. Step, tap, step, tap. You have five seconds, guys, and you have three, two, and one. Good job. All right, so we're gonna do seal jacks. You have two exercises to go here. Seal jacks and prisoner squats, and you've got this thing knocked out. What? Two sets of each. So seal jacks, same option that I gave you on the jumping jacks, stepping and tapping. You have three, two, and one. Let's go. So try to keep those arms, those hands in line with your shoulders. And really focus on working the back. As you open wide and those feet hop up. So you're getting the benefit of that increased heart rate because of the jumping. Yes, I see you working. Look at Kenzie's back right there. You have five seconds. You have three, two, and one. Rest. Good job. You have three, two, and one. All right, right here, I want you to think about pulling your shoulder blades together and using those to open your arms. Yeah. You open wide and those feet come wide. Maybe your feet are hopping out, maybe you're stepping and tapping. You use whatever option works for you. There you go. Squeeze your chest as you bring those hands back together. Squeeze those shoulder blades as you open wide. Focus on the muscles that you are using. You got it. You have 10 more seconds here. You are a machine. Can't stop, won't stop. You got three. Two and one. Yes, one more exercise. We finish this thing with prisoner squats and then you are done with the workout for today. What a way to start the day. Less than 10 seconds. Or maybe you're doing this in the evening. Doesn't matter when, just get it done. You got three, two and one. Wide elbows, light fingertips. There we go. You're a prisoner. Yes, dropping that booty, trying to bring those thighs parallel to the ground. The weight is in your heels. Guys, when you come down for that squat, I want you to try to wiggle your toes right there when the weight is all at the bottom. You wanna be able to wiggle those toes. You don't wanna be up on those toes. Good, shift the weight back as you hinge at those hips and squat down. Good. And you've got three, two, and one. One final set. 55 seconds. Yes, feel that energy. Use the, the finish line as momentum. And one, let's go. Come on, 55 seconds of your life. I like to think about it like you're never getting it back. What are you gonna do with this time right here? How do you choose to work in this moment? Just barely getting through? Or putting every freaking thing you've got into these last few seconds. 35 seconds to go. You just crushed 20 of them. Come on. Stay consistent, stay steady, stay committed. Yes! Come on! You got it, less than 20. You got it, come on! Do not stop. Keep those elbows wide, keep that chest up. If I were standing in front of you, could I see your face the whole time as you're coming down? I like your face. You have less than five seconds, and you have three, Two and one. So good, guys, you just completed bears. Woo, that's no joke right there. That was nice. So tomorrow we're gonna have Panthers for you, I believe. That'll be good. We're gonna have um, John in the house tomorrow. So um, stick with this team, keep working out, keep staying strong doing whatever you can do at home. Post your pictures, let us know you're with us. Hashtag F45 quarantine. And look for another live Zoom on Saturday. Have a good day.